How many times have you had more than 25 tabs open and you lose everything, all the tabs, the websites, and the apps that you're all logged into? Or you have about an hour to work on a project, but you spend half of it trying to log into websites because you don't have the login details or you can't find the login page. Hey my friends, I'm Sherry Borsheim and welcome to Simply Productive where we help you simplify and organize your business and life to enjoy more free time and have less stress. I'm going to share with you my best tips for managing your bookmarks in Chrome on a day-to-day -day basis that are going to transform your life. You can also use these time-saving tips on other internet browsers like Safari, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or other internet browsers. Let's dive in. We're inside a Chrome browser and I'm going to show you how to get the bookmark bar to show. You want to click here over in the top right corner in the three dots and click on bookmarks and lists and then click show bookmark bar. If you've bookmarked some random sites, they would appear here, but as you can see on my browser, I have some folders and some individual sites that I've bookmarked and I'm gonna show you how to set this all up. Let's say I wanted to bookmark this site. What I would do is you click on the little star here and you can use the whole name if you want or you could just say SP it's my company name and I want it to appear on the bookmark bar and what happens when you create a bookmark is it if you click on this little double arrow here it always puts it to the very bottom and then you could drag it anywhere on the bookmark bar or put it into a folder if you wanted if I wanted the name to be shorter you would just click edit and take out SP and notice how it's shorter and it shifted everything over. So keep in mind that when you're creating your folders, you want to make sure that your names are short and not too long because then you'll be able to get more folders saved on your bookmark bar. Now you can see over here, I have my Gmail, I have my Google contacts, I have Asana. I literally can just click this and take me right into Asana, which is one click away. Instead have to figure out, oh, how do I log in again? and I can just hover over any of these and click them and I'm inside of my apps. So I don't need to have a long name there. I can just tell by the icon. Now, not every website will have an icon. So you want to make sure that you keep this clean and organized. Now let's say you don't have a lot of folders and you don't know how to set up the folders. I recommend that when you're starting out that you go back into your bookmark manager. So click on the three dots, go to bookmarks and lists, click on bookmark manager. And in here, you're probably going to see a lot of sort of maybe random sites that you have bookmarked over time. And now we're going to organize them into folders because it just allows you to group and categorize them in an easy way to retrieve them. Now you can see here I have my email, my contacts, and my calendar right there. And I don't want this one, so I'm just going to delete that. Now to create a folder, you want to think about, okay, what are some sort of broad categories or folders that you'd like to create? There's a lot of business apps that I use. So if you think about all of the apps that you use, like I'm in Zoom a lot. I have a folder for filming, video, Clockify, Canva. Kajabi, Dropbox, Upwork, Vimeo. And then these are ones that I use. And then there's some other ones down here. So I have one for all of our courses that we have. And what's nice is I created a folder and I literally can just, okay, what do I have for our Organize Your Business online training course? I have the sales page. I have the back end to Kajabi where the student's portal is. And I also have a presentation. So it's just really quick and easy. Here we have some Facebook groups and it's just super easy to get to anything to do with the products and the programs that we're teaching and offering. One of the things that I did recently was I created some folders under here. We have freebies like our quiz organizing style. So I just created a subfolder for that and all of the links to do with that are all grouped inside of there. So that's really handy. I have one for social media, I have financial, music, I have 
health. You may want one for tracking stats in your business. This is house. Maybe you're doing a house renovation or call them whatever you want. These are the ones that I've created. Education is for ongoing training and courses that I personally, I'm always learning myself. And so I create categories inside of their subfolders. I have a personal one. I have team. And then if you click these arrows, you can see that I have some other ones. And if I wanted to move any of these up, I can literally just drag them to, let's say I wanted to move this here. You can just drag it there and it will just give you an easy way to organize. You can just drag and drop. So when you create a new bookmark, just know that if it's not appearing up here, always click on here and it will appear over here in the bottom right. And then you can drag it into a folder or right onto the bookmark bar. So frequently used apps and sites that you go to will be over here on the left. And as you move over to the right, these are less accessed. I'm into these ones, I'd say right up to the middle on a daily basis. Let's say we wanted to bookmark this Asana page and it could be any page if you wanted. You would click the star and I don't want to have the whole name. I just want to have the word Asana and I don't want it to go inside a bookmark. Created a folder. This is a really cool little tip. You could create a startup folder and what that is, maybe there's two or three apps that you log into every single day. And so instead of clicking three separate sites, you could just launch them all at once. So I'm going to put it into the startup and I want to have the name Asana. I click done. So when I go to my startup folder, you can see here, but I like to have my Asana, my Google drive and my WhatsApp launch automatically. What you can do, right click, open all three three in one window and or open all three. And what happens is it will launch all three of those right off the bat. So you can see that's a big time saver as well. When you're naming these files, you can name them here. You can do them here is you can have a little fun and add an emoji if you want to. So let's just say we had called it startup and we didn't have this emoji. What you would do is you would click on a PC. It's the windows button and the period or dot, and this will appear and you can click on here and select any emoji that you want. And if you don't want those to appear, you just backspace and delete. It does, take up a little more real estate because this is one extra icon. So you don't have to add those emojis if you want. It's a little fun way to make your bookmarks look a little more expressive and easier to find. Now, when you are organizing them, you can drag and drop these around here and change the sort order, or you can do it on the bookmark bar as I'm doing right here. Now to create subfolders inside of here, you would expand it over here. You can see here, I can uncheck this. Now you don't want to be saving anything to other bookmarks or mobile bookmarks. And I'll show you why a little later in this video, but you can see here, I can expand this and I have some other subfolders inside of here. So when I'm filming videos, I have all my resources here uh, under my SP courses. I have some subfolders. If you want to create a subfolder in here, make sure you're inside of the main folder, you click on the three dots inside of the bookmark manager, you would select add new folder and type the name of it. I'm just going to call it test so it'll appear and you can see that it is right here. So I'm just going to drag this all the way up. That was a test bookmark. There's my test folder. And if I wanted to drag this in there, I could. So you can see here now I have this test folder over here. If I go up to my bookmark bar, you can see test is here as well. And I can drag and drop that wherever I want. So that's how you create subfolders underneath a main folder on the bookmark bar. The second way to do it, just say we're inside of a sauna and I wanted to bookmark this and I want to put it inside of another bookmark and it's not appearing here. So just choose another folder and you can see all of your folders here. So make sure you're on the bookmark bar and I want it to go under SP courses. So I would just click here. You would make sure that you have this selected. It was up here. Make sure you select the folder that you want to go into. 
create new folder and we'll call this test two. And again, it puts it to the bottom. You can drag it up and it's now at the top. And you can see that I have my Asana is bookmarked under there as well. So that's how you create main folders and subfolders and bookmark a site. Sometimes it's easier to just go into your bookmark manager and organize your folders and your bookmark from this screen. It's just a lot easier when you're initially sorting your bookmarks that you may have. Another little tidbit that I wanted to show you is you can actually create workflows inside of these. So what do I mean by workflows? I have some workflows inside of my financial folder. When you have taxes that you need to file every year, both personally and business, and what you can do is you can create folders in there. I have GST bills to pay, bills to save monthly and yearly, insurance, CRA, tax forms, and so on. And so inside of here, there are all the bookmarks to all the utilities that I need to go to at the end of the year. It's like a visual checklist and I don't have to think about it. If you need to track business stats, you could have those all bookmarked in there. So that's how you can use your bookmarks to simplify and create checklists or a simple little workflow of reminders for you. And you do that right inside of your bookmark bar. The whole reason why we have saved these onto the bookmark bar and not into mobile bookmarks or other bookmarks is everything that you've created once you have it all organized into your folders. When you log in on your mobile device, make sure you log in your Chrome app into your Google account. Guess what will happen? All of these bookmarks will be accessible on your mobile devices. So I have a PC and I also have an iPhone. So I'm in both worlds and so that's why I save everything to the bookmark bar. So these will appear on my mobile devices as well. So that's super handy. And that's been a big time saving tip. So if you don't have the Chrome browser and you're using Safari, make sure you download the Chrome browser and then all of your bookmarks are going to appear like magic. Just getting your bookmarks organized may not seem like a big thing, but it really is. When you think about all of the apps and all of the websites that you access on a daily basis, it's going to save you so much time down the road. Let's minimize that stress and friction and frustration so you have more freedom and peace of mind that when you do your work, you can access the files and the resources and the websites that you need very quickly. Thank you for watching and being here and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for future updates on organizing strategies that are going to simplify your business and your life.